Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is video number three in my days videos leading up to doing videos every day until the 31st of October which is Halloween. Um, today I'm going to do another makeup video, just a simple get ready with me and I'm going to be using one palette only and it is now it's what I call makeup um, 2000s palette so yeah let's get started okay, so the reason I picked this palette is because of all the sort of oranges neutral sort of colours that are in it there's yellows, browns, oranges, a few pinky purples. So yeah, I'll be using all of them. So I'm going to start by priming my face and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. primer. So I'm just going to put that on and then I'll be right back. I'm back and as well as doing my primer, I did the rest of my base. So my foundation, my concealer, my eyebrows, bronzer, and something else. Contour. That's it, contour. So I've done all that, now I'm going to go in with the eyes. If my camera is wobbling even more, it's because my um, thing actually, one of the legs snapped. I've literally had to stand no more than probably about three weeks. Rubbish. So, let's do eyes, shall we? Um, as I said, it's going to just be sort of, I wouldn't say natural, natural glam, is that a thing? Let's try it anyway. Um, so we will go in with a colour first, that would help. Let's go in with, let's see, um, Put in with uh, that colour there. I'm holding it upside down. That one there. It's like a dark peachy orange colour. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm just going to sit that all over my lid for the moment. <laughs> we will go in with a Brown, brown, yeah. I'm going with this one here. It's like in the pan, it looks like a light brown colour. But we'll see what it looks like on the eyelid, shall we? We probably won't be able to see much because it's going on top of an orange. I think I might do another. Amazon wig video seen as you guys are loving that video that is literally one of my top vi viewed videos and wow and I have seen comments on it of how to style it or style them and whatnot, and I will give it a go on what you guys have said. Um, I know there was a comment about plucking the hairline or something like that, so I'm going to try and do that and see if it helps make it a little bit more realistic. I did try and heat style them the other day, and it was meant to be a video, but that just oh. It just failed massively. It did not style whatsoever, which obviously really, really, really bugged me. Another colour. I'm using a different brush. Um, Okay, we'll use this 
So we've done or uh, orange, we've done like a brown. <sighs> what are two shades of brown? Let's go in with a yellow. I feel like we need to do a yellow. I think obviously I've done a look similar to, similar to this. I will link it. And that is my autumn get ready with me video. As I said, this video will probably be just me rambling on, talking about random stuff, because, yeah. Um, I think I might zoom in so you guys can see just a little bit clearer. No, yeah, that's better. So, I might do another brown. So I'm going to do like a darker brown. Um, right, okay, so I've got to show you. I used that yellow there. And I'm going to be using probably that brown there. And I'm going to be using this brown, literally like, to darken up the outside edges. There is a lot of fallout with this palette. Oh, my eyes. So, I want to put a cut crease in. I don't know whether to put some metallic y colours in or not. Um, put a cut crease in, and then I'll decide from there. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done my cut crease. It's not great, it's not even. It's not the same. But anyway. Okay, so what I have decided is I'm going to go in with this really light yellow there. That is what I'm going to do. And if it doesn't match, then it doesn't match. So, oh well. But let's give it a whirl, shall we? I don't know if you guys can see Oh my god These metallic shades are sort of clumping. Okay, so that's that side. Let's do the other side. Okay, I don't know if you can see, like, it's proper, like, clumping, I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's clumping up. I'm going back in with that dark shade, just to try and blend across there. As I said, I'm using literally just one palette, and I wish I didn't say that, because there's colours... There's like a dark brownie colour in another palette that I really want to use. And I know that it's the colours aren't that bad in this other palette. I don't know. This might turn out good. It might turn out not. Who knows? At the moment it's going quite patchy. I don't know if you guys can see. It's going patchy like there. Okay, let's blend that. We'll attempt to blend it anyway. Right, I'm going to go back on my 
my word. And I will be using another palette. Um, the palette I'm going to use is my MUA one. This is Burning Embers palette. Just because I know the browns in this one don't come off. Like, when you use them. If I can open it up. So let's give this a whirl. So the dark brown here, I have no more in front of me, so I'm going to have to use the viewfinder. Oh, no, I'm going to have to use a mirror. Okay, so let's try and save this, shall we? Or am I just completely ruined it by um, I really hope I haven't ruined it really hope I haven't ruined it so I guess we'll uh, find out won't we don't know how I feel just because it's literally like gone patchy right there the browns are just not Staying for some reason, and I don't know how to fix it. Just seem to sort of <sighs> look any better, does it not? Help me out here, guys, because I feel like it's oh, crap. Okay, well, just, I'm going to have to leave it at that, because I don't know how to fix it, unless I just put brown on it, not blend. Is there anything I can think of doing? Let me just see if that works. So we put on this shade here. I'm just packing on the shade now, I'm not doing one again. Under the eye, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna mix an orange and a brown together. Let's get that sort of dark. Orangey look. It is slowly coming together, I feel. Even after the uh, patchiness fiasco. So I'm going to go do my eyeliner, put some lashes on, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my eyeliner, put some eyelashes on, and I also did my lips. Um, now I'm going to put highlighter on. So I'm going to use my trusty highlighter palette. Um, and seeing as I'm in brown, orange, yellows, I, oh jeez, I am probably going to go for this yellow one here. So let me grab a brush for my brows. And we'll do the yellow at the top. I think now that the lashes are on, it's actually pulled this look sort of together, but I don't know what's going on with the lash here. Sort of in its own, own little world. But then again, these lashes are from Wish. Bought six pairs of lashes from Wish. And they're not bad. But they're not great either. Literally, I just thought I'd try them. See what they're like. And they're crap. I wouldn't 
take my time out of my day to go and order again, that's for damn sure. So, as I said before, this video is literally probably just me rambling on about random stuff, probably not making any sense whatsoever. But hey, what do you expect? Ooh. Now I forgot to put a highlight like on my Cupid bow, is that what it's called? Before I did my lips and I'm not going to bother now, so anyway. This highlight is actually really bright. I mean, in person, it's so much brighter. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, I'm loving it. Okay, so that concludes this video. Um, as I said, it's literally just me rambling on about random stuff. You can see random bits of lashes all over the place, like there and there. What is going on? Anyway. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up. And make sure you hit that button down below to subscribe to see more videos. And make sure the bell button's on. Because every time I put a new video up, you guys will get a new notification. So, that is that. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is tomorrow. Bye!